Hey, it's hard to believe 648 videos and over 83,000 subscribers with uh, near and 16 million views. Pretty exciting. So I am working on the PTSU, that's the Polk Total Station Ultralight. That's because it's being made with the Moreland Ultralight plywood. Got the horses uh, done and i um, pretty happy with that. I had to narrow them down a little bit, but I kept the width uprights and everything the same. I, I made a metric, so I made some adjustments, but it was real minor. I went with the strap like we're doing on the Paul Compact Bench, single strap in the middle that's adjustable. Door hinges for, instead of straps here, and then on the bottom, slots that the door hinges stick up and, and go into, and this simplifies the making of the horse. Eliminate horses. a couple of these. I've got three dimensions to, to be concerned about here, and I can fill this in I could go in and, and get on this top and, and do the line tool, fill this in, turn on the x-ray view and do that, and then turn off the x-ray view. Then I can come in and uh, push-pull this up, and then I can turn back on the x-ray tool, and I can go in and erase lines that I don't need. But rather than do that, what I'm going to do is uh, Command-Z, Command-Z. I'll show you another little trick uh, that, that's really handy with 3D, particularly with surfaces with a lot of detail and you want to change a lot of stuff. So I'll come in here and I'm going to select this uh, top that I want to uh, edit. Now, just to be sure that if I make any mistakes, I can jump back. I'm going to hit the M key for move. I'm going to tap the option key. It's given the plus. I've shown this plenty of times. This just gives me a copy of this uh, top, the whole top. And that then leaves my top here uh, undisturbed and I can then delete this once I'm comfortable with my changes. One, two, three. It, it selects everything, but what I want to do is I just want to select just this top surface. So I'm going to double click. So I'm, I've got to get in it first. One, two. So I'm in it. Now I'm going to use the same move copy command. I'm going to uh, tap the M key for move. And that's the black arrow, uh, the four way arrow. Tap the option key. Use that all the time. I keep repeating it, but it's such a, you know, it's those keyboard tricks that, you know, you, you should learn those. So now I have just the top surface. And so all I need to do now to get rid of these two outside ones is just, uh, you gotta make sure I'm in that surface, so it's highlighted. And I'm gonna tap the L key for the line tool and I'm gonna get rid of that one and this one. Select that and just tap the lead. I can do the erase key or that, either way. And um, now, by erasing those, I don't have to go in and figure out in the 3D world if, if all the lines that I've gotten them all, it's all, you know, it's all, you know, exactly, uh, it's visible. So I don't, I don't have any hidden geometry or hidden lines. Grab this surface here, push pull key by tapping the P key and pull it down. And I'm going to tap in 12 because it's 12 millimeters and done. So now what I can do is I can come in and get in that group, triple click on that, delete that one, and then I can come in here and take this one and delete it and grab this one. And I'm gonna hit the M key for move. I'm gonna grab the surface or the area that I wanna connect. So I'm gonna grab that bottom end point and then I'm just gonna come back over to and, and just put it right where it goes. It'll lock in. You can see where it sort of jumps to that point. It takes a lot longer to tell you and show you and all. I mean, I could have had that all done and back in 30 seconds. Uh, shop time is coming and I'm looking forward to making a little sawdust. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Hey, thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.